Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario 3D World. I'm Pengy1990, so what do you say we get started? Again. So today we're starting off with it's one of the more well-known levels of the game. World 2-5, Double Cherry Pass. At least, I think this is one of the most well-known in the game, just because it's an early level that has a new power-up. This is the Double Cherry. It literally clones your character. So basically, what happens, he gets to run around, and basically, he have a clone you control as well as your own original character, or... Oh, goddammit. I wanted to say that your clone will stay for as long as you want until he either dies or, j or gets hit by an enemy or whatever. Dying as you're falling off the level. But the enemy kind of did that for me. And I really didn't want it to. Now, one thing I don't know if I ever showed, but fireballs can go through clear pipes. Thought I might as well show them. There, my voice just died. <coughs> Sorry. There were also, whenever one clone gets a power up, all the other clones get that same ability. Like, only one fire flower made two clones of the fire toad. I'm going to kill all these things. Just because I can. Can they fall? Oh crap, they can fall. Ow. There goes one of my clones. I'm good at this game! Okay, good. There's another double cherry. These switches here. If you have both of your clones, stand on them. Then they activate. This is a lot easier to do in multiplayer, which I hopefully will get to show because, well, the other person playing can also count as a character that activates the switch. So it doesn't necessarily have to be clones. Now, what's this? Wow. I have four clones right now. Make that five clones. Now, why do one of my clones just jump down? And stamp. Now, the one downside to this power is that it's nearly impossible to do a good job controlling all of your clones at once. But I managed somehow. This is usually where all of my clones die. So please say I have four. Good, I have four clones. Let's just grab another for absolutely no reason. This lift, it, as it, the numbers it would suggest, it only activates if you have four characters. This can be four clones or just four per characters if you're doing multiplayer. And gold flag. It's a very easy level, but that's because you gotta get used to the double cherry power-up thing. Unfortunately, it doesn't last multiple levels. It's only in the level you collect it in. Somebody wrote fart in a Miiverse post. I do not know why. So, now that we're done with this level, we can move on to the Bowser Castle. Bowser's Bullet Bill Brigade. I have really not been looking forward to this level. This isn't exactly hard, but I just always do horrible at it. Like, it usually takes at least three tries for me, so let's see if I can do any better than usual. First, kill all these things. 
But basically this fight is easy because he has there's plenty of time for you to hit it. Which I failed to do never mind, I didn't fail. Well, I did fail, I, sort of. I failed to hit him the way I wanted to, but I did hit him. And even though he's invisible. Oh dear. oh dear. Okay, now this is the only somewhat difficult part of the fight. Let's see if I can pick Yay, yeah, got him. When he's spinning, his head, which is his weak point, is still open, so you can easily just jump on his head as he's attacking. It's just that sometimes it's a bit difficult considering he gets invisible. And here's the second Sprixie. So then, if I somehow screw up this gold flag, I am going to kill a Goomba. And if I don't screw it up, I'm going to kill a Goomba anyway, but so what? Okay, good, I got it. I'm still going to kill a Goomba, though. And Boom Boom sticker. Cool. And stamp, not sticker. So you can already see the Water World Elf in the distance. Or Ice World, I don't know. It's some sort of combo of the two, I think. I don't know what I'm saying, guys. Not that I ever did. And she also showed up Mario and Luigi. As will every single Sprixie in the game that we rescue. So now we've completed this level 100%. So now I'm going to go back and get all the stuff I missed. The green star in world 2-1 and the stamp in 2-4. So yeah. Maybe I'll cut to them if I can figure out how to actually do that with my program. If not, then you guys have to watch me and suffer. Hit this block. Thank you. Where's the stamp? I need to come back as Mario! Damn it. And with that, I do believe we have completed World 2. So then, we have nowhere else here to go except World 3. Or any of the other levels that we've already completed. Why we would do that, I don't know, but whatever. So this is World 3. Obviously. So, World 3-1, Snowball Park. I really enjoy this level, but I often do horrible at it. Mostly because I do too many tricks and not enough good playing. Die. You didn't die. 
I told you to die, why didn't you? Oh, it is this level. Back here, if I can get it. There we go. There's this thing. This is a propeller hat, I think it's called. It works a lot like the propeller per mushroom from New Super Mario Bros. Wii and New Super Mario Bros. U. And from and the propeller per thing that's exactly like this from 3D Land. Basically, you jump, hold the jump button, then you get a boost. And hold the jump button as you go down for a slower descent. Matter. You don't actually need. Oh wait, you do need that for something in this level. Run. Well, if I die, which I probably will. What the hell happened there? If I die, I'm gonna go back and get that. Well, here's the other new thing in this level. If I could get, if I could kill this damn Goomba. There. Now I've, I've completed my vow from, war, from the last castle. And also, you can ride around in the Goomba shoe. Checkpoint. Ah, uh, don't... No! I'm alive. Somehow. Now that bunny had a scar, I think. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh gosh, there goes my shoe. Bunny, get back here. Bunny! I didn't like you in Mario Galaxy, I don't like you here. Thank you. Now I'm gonna go get another shoe. <laughs> that Goomba just fell off the edge. <laughs> that was funny. God damn it! I can't hold on to a shoe to save my life, apparently. Come on. Peach, throw the snowball at the snowman. Hey, hey, you can't catch me. And please do not move faster, Pokey. How many people get that reference? Okay, gold flag. Did I just, like, home in on the top of the flag? Because I could have sworn I missed it. button and you can warp to different places on the map. Yep. Like that. I just tapped world one on the gamepad. And you can also check your records for different worlds. And I gotta go back to world three. So here is world two. We're tw we have twenty stars more than we need. Oh dear, this level. I'll come back to that level later. I don't like that level. Actually, no, I do like the level, but I'm horrible at it. But hey, what do you know? Another 8-bit Luigi in the window. That the stamp collection would move. Hello. Chain link charge. Random. This level, I think it is. Okay, good as well. Ow. Get the hell up! Son of a. Jump! How does it work? Is there a green star back here? Nope. 
But there is a pointless mushroom. Okay. In memory of Super Mario 64, you can jump into the painting!
go. Where did I miss it? Oh yeah, back here. I missed again. Again, I'm not gonna go for that star. I died again. Well, screw that star. Get up there, Mario. Thank you. Redundant, but I don't care. And so I think this is a good place to conclude the episode. So, who everybody, I have been Peggy9290, and in the next one, we will take on whatever is down that pipe, which is probably the Captain Toad level. And then we'll also take on the other level over there. And the slot machine, which I'll do off screen. I'll see you then! <laughs>